Today I'm going to tell you the five things I love and the five things I hate about living in Merritt Island, Florida. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel Langley with Florida Lifestyle Realty. Well, today I'm going to talk about five reasons I love living here in Merritt Island and five things I'm not so excited about by living here. So let's get started. Let's start with bad ones first. Number one, the heat. The summer months are insanely hot. It's just how it is living in Florida. Luckily, there's this beautiful invention called air conditioning. So everyone spends the time in their air conditioned house, they get in their air conditioned car, and they go to their air conditioned office. The minute they get home from work, they need to go to the pool or the beach. Number two, hurricanes. Like much of Florida, Merritt Island is vulnerable to hurricanes and other severe weather events. This means that residents need to be prepared for possible evacuations and property damage. Luckily, no major hurricanes ranked a category three or higher have struck our county since 1850. Most damage I've seen since living here is minor flooding in flood zones, older fences falling, and roof repairs needed. Number three, the bugs. We are in a subtropical climate, which means we get to see some scary looking bugs, gnats in particular. They are the tiniest little flies. They're also commonly called nuciums here. They're barely visible to the naked eye, but they bite you like mosquitoes. They're not fun. Depending on what area you live in, if you are closer to the water, you're gonna have a lot more nuciums. So you're gonna have to load up on bug spray during the summer months. So go get some no gnats and get some bug spray, citronella, anything that's really good and stinky that can deter those bugs. We also have these things that I like to call palmetto bugs. Essentially, they are giant cockroaches. I remember the first night when we purchased our home in Merritt Island, we heard a noise and found a cockroach alive in our kitchen. I had to sleep with the lights on that night and I had a pest control company come in the next day. So if you live in Merritt Island, most people realize the need to have a pest control service and have somebody come once every three months, spray the outside of the house, and that does the trick. It's a relatively cheap service and we haven't seen any since. Number four is the low tide smell. Anytime you live near the water, you're gonna get a smell when it's low tide or when the wind hits it a certain way. I will say there are some mornings where there is a faint smell that is not so pleasant. It's pretty rare, but does happen from time to time living in between two rivers. And number five, because there are so many older homes, there are still homes with cast iron piping. This is something I didn't think was a big deal until we moved here. Because of the subtropical climate, cast iron lifespan is a lot shorter here. So if you are interested in a home built before 1975, it will most likely have cast iron piping. There are property owners that have had them replaced already with PPC, but it's definitely something you want to know prior to purchasing and budget for if you love a home with cast iron piping. So now let's move on to the five things that I love about living in Merritt Island. Number one has to be its location. Merritt Island is only 10 to 15 minutes to the beach. The closest beach is either going to be Cape Canaveral or Cocoa Beach. Another big reason why I chose our house is because it was only eight minutes to Cocoa Village. I wanted to be close to an older downtown area since I had come from a historic town in the north. And so I love how close we are to Cocoa Village. I also love only being 45 minutes to the Orlando airport and only one hour to Disney Parks and Universal Studios. I had never been to Disney or Universal before moving here and now I love going. It's a great day trip from here. Number two would have to be watching rockets launch from your own yard or condo deck. It is definitely an exciting time to live in the Space Coast. There are over 80 launches scheduled for 2023. Not only does the space industry really boost our local economy, there's nothing like watching history. Artemis went off a couple of months ago. It was scheduled to launch in the middle of the night. I remember staying up late and then walking outside when the countdown started. It was so cool watching the sky light up and watching history happen. It really gives you goosebumps. All right, number three, I love the beach. Like I said earlier, it's only a 10 to 15 minute drive to Cape Canaveral and Cocoa Beach beaches. Whether you like to surf, boogie board, swim, or just relax and catch some sun, it's so nice having the beach so accessible to you at any time of the year. When we lived up north, we lived close to the beach too. It was expensive to park in the summers and always pack. Because our county has 72 miles of shoreline, there's plenty of places to go. Park for free, relax in the warm summer water, and not be shoulder to shoulder. 
I will say the water starts getting cold from October and starts warming back up in March. Number four is its location between the Indian and Banana Rivers. So there's always something to do on the water. If you have a boat, you can find a canal front home for as low as $450,000 and have access to the river whenever you like. There's also numerous boat launches. We love to go kayaking and there's many great spots to check out. You may even run into dolphins and manatees when you are out there. And the number five reason that I love living in Merritt Island is the people. People are very welcoming here. I love that our neighbors always wave to us and the workers at Publix take the time to ask how your day is. I also found it pretty easy to meet people. There are local Facebook groups that were created for meeting other locals. I really do think that the warm weather year round makes people friendlier. So now you have all the reasons that I love Merritt Island and a few of the things that are not perfect about Merritt Island. But come on, every place has its pros and cons. Are you thinking of moving to Merritt Island or somewhere in Brevard County? If you click down below, you can head on over to my website and search for all the homes that are currently for sale in your own price range. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.